Hey guys, Mike here with you. So I'm gonna show you a little trick how to keep the tap straight when you're tapping through some plate. I've got, uh, this is an inch and a quarter thick plate and I'm using a one eight tap, which is a pretty good sized tap. My machine wasn't stout enough to penetrate this thing. So I'm having to do it by hand, but the tap has to be vertical straight up and down. So what I've got is, I've got all the holes in the machine and I've made this rod that'll fit down inside the holes, perfect tight, fit. And then what I've got is, is uh, the top surface is machined the same diameter as the tap. Uh, as far as the top shank and then I've got a machine groove that I've got cut into a plate that's tack welded to this uh, two and a half inch square pipe. So what I want to do is is use these two devices to position my plate so and I've got clamps that I use to hold it in place So, next thing I'll do is, is wiggle the pin around a little bit, make sure it looks good, it's tight, and then what I'll do is, I've got a, uh, I'm using some uh, oil-based coolant that mixes with water, and uh, I'm spraying this thing as I'm running this tap through. So what I'll do is just stick the tap in from the side and let it lift it vertical into the groove there. And then I'll start tapping it from there. So, and then I'll use this uh, three quarter inch uh, breaker bar with some pipe extensions to give me some leverage because this dude doesn't go in easy. So what I'll do is, is I'll continue spinning this thing so I'll get it run all the way through. I'm gonna turn my coolant on. If you notice, I don't know if you see it or not, but you got a drip bucket below so I can recover this stuff, uh, reuse it. So. And then when I tap this, I'm going to do it from this side. That way, you naturally are pulling the tap over this side here. And you can physically see the things going in straight as to how it sets on that plate. You have to make sure your clamps are tight. So the plate, the, the tubing doesn't move. But if you go along with it, if you feel uncomfortable or non-confident, or you want to check it, just take your little level and just sort of put on it. I do that after I'm done. So my tap is starting to get a little dull. I may have to revert over to a uh, actual cutting cutting fluid. The uh, fluid that I'm using is used for a magnetic uh, annular cutter. And what I like about it is, it uh, throws a consistent uh, fluid on it for cutting to get you a close up. And of course, once I get done with this, I run it all the way down to where that nuts on the flush. I'll uh, take these clamps loose, remove the pipe out of the way, run the tap on down, and then extract it. So I've only done a few. I've got 24 of them suckers to do. So, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.